Hello people! What's up? You guys absolutely love like our big sis videos and one of the main questions we get asked when we're doing like try on hauls for our shop which BTW we are always launching new stuff. If you so haven't check checked out, out our shop. But anyway I always do these try on stories on Instagram and the main question that I get is about what bras I'm wearing with what shirt. So today we're gonna be showing you kind of some like tips and tricks on what bras to wear with what outfits, yep. what shirts, how to get it to all look good. Mm -hmm. All that information. So let's go. Please, my lovely ladies, never duct tape your, your boobs. Poor boobs. Don't do that, that would hurt like a mother trucker. Also, want to preface this video with saying, if you don't want to wear a bra and you wanna go braless, girl, you do you, you'll look amazing. Due to modesty purposes, we'll be wearing tanks. Okay, okay, so first things first, just regular old like t-shirt style shirts. What bras would we wear with this? That's a great question. Just a regular old bra. Oh. The color of the bra matters. If you're wearing a dark shirt, you wear a dark bra. If you're wearing a light shirt, you probably don't wanna wear like pink or orange or red or black or anything mm -hmm. that you can see underneath the shirt because a lot of those materials are see -through. Yes, and surprisingly, white under Underneath white is one of the most see-through things. So you think that that it works, it doesn't. Wear nude with yeah. white nude, top. Nude's the best to have because mm -hmm. you can wear it under everything. <laughs> It's just very strange. It's like got a bra on over. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> it doesn't even look like it looks right. It looks so weird. Okay, well, imagine that it looks horrible. I don't know why. It imagine looks that so it looks weird. right on her body. You get the deal, and then obviously you just put the top on, and it just looks like normal. Like you don't even see the bra. Voila. Ta da! So ignore no the purple. Ignore the purple. That's a tank. No straps. No bra showing. Back closed. Back closed. Nice and supportive. Supportive. Perky. Fun. Perfect. Voila. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? I know it's so weird. Hi. Oh. Oh, give him kisses, give him kisses. Good boy. Okay. If you're trying to wear something like this, or if you're trying to wear something like this, where it's no sleeves at all, that's when you want to whip out strapless bra. Ooh, la la. <laughs> I know a lot of people have the ones where you can like take off the straps from their original bra and it just becomes strapless. This one is actually one that we just bought strapless. Also, heads up, strapless bras are very particular to the person. Yeah. So like, if you want them to fit correctly, that's probably something you should go like in store and try on. Cause, Cause they have to be able to like, they need to be able to like, up keep all the, keep the babies the up there. Cause I've seen some horror scenes where people are like at dances and stuff and their bra is down to like their belly button. It's not great. Tragic. Fun tip too for strapless bras. If you can't find a strapless bra and you have just a regular bra that removes the strap, if it doesn't feel like it's secure enough, you can take those straps and actually wrap them around the base of the bra and it will help keep that now strapless bra secure. Oh, cute. <laughs> it's so weird. So this is obviously my strapless bra and voila, put it over. You cannot see anything underneath my straps. There's no bra straps. There's no bra showing under here. It's all hidden. My chest is nice and lifted, comfortable. The back's not showing either. It's coming off. Voila. Fins like play time. <laughs> Okay, other side note, for those of you guys that wear halter top, this, we're gonna pop up pictures of halter yes, tops. You halter guys tops. See. They're actually kind of really in fashion right now. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, anyway, halter tops. You can wear the sleeveless look like what I have on right here. Or, because a lot of sleeveless bras have these strap holds right here, you can see, let me Which, of hair. course, oh, also your tank top is dyed pink. I know, I washed it with a red shirt. <laughs> oh, no. Normally, what you can do is you can take one of the straps or both of the straps and click them in here, wrap it around, clip it in here, and then you have a halter to help hold this up that will hide underneath your shirt. Mm. I don't have the actual straps to show you what that looks like. I also don't own a halter top, <laughs> so you're gonna just have to visualize it. <laughs> oh, these next ones are fun. I feel like I shouldn't show this woman just in case. Like, sticky boo! Sticky boo! You see that this is like a ski material all inside the cuppage of the boob? Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> hit it. Okay, <laughs> I just hit his toy. So there's like a sticky material in here that's literally going to stick to your bear. To your bear. 
Boom. That's how it goes. It would clip in the center together so that you can, oh, hold on, hello? So it clips together so it's attached now so you can. It's called the butterfly because it looks kind of like butterfly. Like this. You don't have to clip it though. Nope, you don't have to clip it if you don't want so to. So if you have a plunging V-neck of an outfit and you don't want anything in the center at all. Okay, so obviously not gonna demonstrate without the tank top. So basically you first get it cupped under your boob right here and then you tug it up so it's sticking kind of up your upper boob area. I'm trying to think of the words to describe it because if you don't like cup it and pull it up, your boobs might look saggy. So you kind of want to stick them up a little further. Your boobs are like well supported even though they don't have straps, if that makes sense. Now I've got one sticky boob on and then I'll demonstrate on the next one. This whole stick on. And then if you want to, you can clip it together. If you don't, you can separate them. Okay, now I got stinky boobs. Voila, ta-da. So this would be a demonstration of like when you would wanna wear a sticky boob because it has a deep V. So I don't have to clip them together and you don't see any bra here. You also don't see any bra in the back or on the sides, which is a total bonus. So no one's ever gonna This is a solution to hide all factors of that while still having some form of support. Nice outfit. Thank you. Styles got jeans. the jeans under the dress um, with a purple tank top and two boob pads. <laughs> bras. Just two twins talking bras, about bras. Bras. We're just bras. <laughs> mm. Sticky boobs. That's our next option. Actually, the other ones are called these sticky are, boobs. These are called these are like called nipple pads. Yeah. Nip little coverage yeah. things. Yeah. Nipple what? stickies. Pasties. 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 Pasties come um, in these little tiny silicone sticky circles, or sometimes they're flowers. They basically are so that you're. It's more for it's not like for support. It's more to hide the nippage. The nippage. If you're uncomfortable with that, of course there are lots of women who love wearing no bra at all and don't care. And go don't off, you. queens. Go <laughs> this is called. These are called pasties, nipple pads. They're. I don't. There's tons of different options. If you don't want to buy these fancy ones. Band-aids also work. I tend to use pasties or band-aids when I'm wearing a swimsuit that doesn't have padding or if I'm wearing something like this shirt where the sides are so open or and like this where no matter what I wear underneath, no matter what kind of bra it's gonna show and I just want my nips covered. All right, show me. Literally all you do is you find your nipple and you put it over like that. There's Oh, no that's so cute. <laughs> I feel like it's wrong. I just feel like that's so wrong. That looks bad. It's the thing about band-aids, the cool part about band-aids is you literally just, you literally just put one in here, pull down tight, strap the other one there, and keeps them nice, safe, tucked in, and they're waterproof so you can swim with them on. I'm sure there are probably thousands of other bra options, but these are just the ones that we wanted to show y'all today. So we are on the last option, a bralette. A so if you don't want to hide the straps of your bras or you don't mind showing the straps of your Bras. Or you want to like draw Cute. attention to it. Mm -hmm. There are lots of fun lacy bralettes that you can show just underneath. It's a little, a little, little flash, flash, a little flash little, of lace, a little, a little here or there. Hair. However you want to do it, I'll show you an example of some ways that you can wear bralettes. Okay, so this is the bralette on. You can see it's just kind of uh, lacy fun. Some of them have padding, some of them don't. This one has padding, um, but it's totally up to you. Whatever you want to get. But I'm about to show you a dress that has an open back um, where you'll be able to see the bralette and it might be like an added fashion statement to see the bra instead of hiding it. Okay, so obviously ignore the purple tank top, but you can see the bralette here. It almost adds something to the dress so you have this fun little lacy back instead of just a bare back. So that's how you would wear a bralette. Okay, so hopefully you guys found some of these tricks helpful. Let us know if there are any other types of bras you want us to give a shot and like try and see how they work. Or if you thought these tips were helpful, just comment all that down below. Also, don't forget to check out our shop. Link is in the bio. Also, just give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe. Hey. All the fun things. We haven't told y'all to do back that in a long time. Back since like 2015. Throwback. So go do that. Anyway, we love you guys and we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye.